Hi, this is Rick. I'm going to do a little video uh, demonstration. It's a new diode I got, and I got three of them. They all tested about the same, uh, around uh, 4.6 peak, holding around 4.5, 4.5 watts. Uh, it's about 61 degrees here uh, in my basement. Let me see if I can zoom in on the temperature. You can see it right down in the bottom lower corner. It's a little cool down here, uh, but anyway. Get a gauge. Now, one thing that's very important, I hear a lot of people say they can run their modules five minutes. I don't believe any dial should be running that long, no matter what kind of heat sink you have. Here's one of my copper modules insert. As you can see, the diode sits in this one, and the back of it touches in this piece. A lot of them are hollow, and it doesn't, uh, doesn't take the heat away from the back of the diode. This is why I think my diode's a must when you start going over uh, three watts. But anyway, I've had. Uh, People calling me up, tell me that they were told they could run five minutes and then had trouble with them. And uh, I believe it's because the back of the diodes aren't giving off enough heat to, to transfer into the bigger copper module. But uh, just want to show that before we start the actual power reading. I'll do it on the meter. Uh, here's one of my copper modules. Uh, it basically screws in the top piece. This here is a top piece which screws down flat into my heat sink, which does touch the back of the heat sink as it sits in. Uh, hopefully I won't get too much blur so we can get a good reading and a uh, good power reading. Let me zoom in a little bit more here. Okay, and this is a single diode. Uh, as far as I know, it's the most powerful one in the world right now. So we'll see uh, what we're getting. I got 4.6 earlier, so uh, let me turn the light on. Mm -hmm. That might help a little bit. Okay, here we go. Oh, and I always wear your safety glasses. I'm just running it off a little battery test load here. I've got taped up. Uh, here's the laser. Okay, I've changed mode. There's high power mode. Oh, it's not even getting warm. Okay, there we go. That one seemed to be holding around 4.6. Uh, I would say that is a new world record for a single diode and a 445 wavelength. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I will have kits for sale. Email or call me for pricing, and uh, we'll go from there. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing a new world record. As far as I know, uh, no single diode in this wavelength or visible has been this high before. Uh, comment to the video. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you like it, subscribe and give a thumbs up. Thanks.